Next to hit will be the pitcher, number 28. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. And a dive, but he's back in. And another snap throw to the bag. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. First offering on its way. Runner goes for second. Pitch outside. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Clearly, they're not satisfied with the lead they're working with right now, and I like that. You don't want to disrespect your opponent and do that in a blowout game, but I don't think you can get comfortable with a five-run lead, and now they've got a chance to add on to it. The 1-0 home is looked at for ball number two. Can't allow yourself to lose focus right here with the pitcher up. Got to stay on the attack. Minimize pitches against these guys and put them away early. The 2 0 on the way. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Now the 2 1. Now this is driven out to deep right center. This could be trouble. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. So these guys have now scored in each of the first five innings. And in case you're wondering how often a team scores at least one run every inning, our crack staff tells us it's happened seven times in the National League, most recently by the Rockies in 1999. 